Hey guys! So a few weeks back I posted this amazing mermaid tail cake video. It is stunning. The blue, the yellow, the gold, the way that it flows. So today I'm going to be answering one question. Can that cake be recreated within 30 minutes? I've got everything I need here. The thing that I'm probably the most worried about is the fondant tail. It's not going to be edible. All right guys, I know it, there's gonna be complaints, but who's eating that much fondant anyways? R rethink your life decisions, you guys. All I have to do now is push the button. It's terrible. Ugh. Pushing that button sucks too. It's freaking sucks. I hope this doesn't fall apart, please. Okay, ready, set, go. So the first thing I have to do is the tail, and I'm doing the tail on a piece of cardboard, so I've gotta draw out the tail first. If this looks nice, this is going to be a birthday cake for my mommy. If it doesn't, I'm going to smash it with a bat. So I drew out my tail and I'm just going to cut it out with an X-Acto knife. This shape is so much more basic than the other one that I made. This is the only thing I'm worried about. Everything else should be smooth sailing. Oh my god, something else is going to roll wrong now. Just jinx myself. Okay. Come on. Is that even big enough? Is it too small? Oh, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, what do I need to do now? Oh, we're rolling. We're rolling fondant now. I'm using a smaller roller because I don't have that much space. I'm gonna give myself seven minutes to do this. What time is it? Timer wrong? Oh. <laughs> It's not wrong, it's just that that too looks like a five. This is what you're looking at, which is the time, the actual time. And this is what I'm looking at, which is the reverse of the time on my makeshift stand. This is what happens when your setup is ghetto as hell. So I'm going to, oh, there's no way for me to get the skewers to stay. So I'm gonna glue, hot glue gun it. Glue gun the skewer to the cardboard. It's not edible. But that's okay, because nobody's eating this fondant. Oh, I have to wait for it to dry. I don't know, do I have that time? I don't want the cardboard to show at all. So I'm gonna cut the fondant just a little bit bigger than the cardboard. And we're gonna treat it almost like an empanada. I gotta tear this carefully, because it's still drying. There we go, there we go. I need a little magic sauce. And we're just going to wet this a little bit so that it'll stick to the cardboard. That everywhere. Don't add too much because then it's just going to be wet and it won't be sticky. That's what she said. Why did she say that? I don't know. I'm going to try to make it so that it gets as tacky as possible so it'll stick to the cardboard. Are you dry glue? God, 24 minutes. And we're just going to push down like that. And I'm going to set this aside for like five seconds. I'm almost done. I think I'm almost done with this part of it. I hope this stays up. Please don't fall on me. Good, 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 good. What am I doing? Oh, come on. 22 minutes. Tacky, 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 tacky. Stick. Did you stick? You got stuck? You're stuck. Now we're going to cut. Oh my God. So stressful. Why is this so stressful? Leftover fondant goes back here. Squish it together like an empanada. So now we need to just create some mermaid lines. Uh, uh, uh. That's Ariel. This is definitely not the way that I did my other mermaid cake, but what are you gonna do? It's 30 minutes. Now the other side, I can't. I don't think I can do the other side yet because then I feel like the detail on this side is going to get messed up. Well, I'll add a little bit. Man, this is a one-sided cake, you guys. What's the point? I don't care about that side. What is an empanada? It's a meat pocket, right? This is a cardboard pocket. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm putting you aside. I hope you get super hard while I'm not looking at you. That's what she said. We need to level off the cakes. And I'm gonna do that right now with my cake leveler. So I've got gloves because I know that this is gonna get all over the place. All my cakes have been so moist recently. Look at how moist this is. I'm gonna eat you for lunch. Oh, I don't have a plate. 
I don't, okay, well that's fine. You can stay there. Leveling off all of my cakes. So I've got my PVC pipe set up and all my cakes are just gonna go in the middle and we're gonna add some buttercream in between each layer. Okay, come on now. Why are you hard, buttercream? On any other day, buttercream, you always have to treat me badly when it's a timed challenge. So we've got 17 minutes left. Uh, I think we're doing okay on time. So I've got another PVC pipe and very carefully I'm just, I don't want to ruin the cake. So I put a hole in it so that it's prepared for this pipe, you know? There we go. Um, all of the cakes are different sizes. I think that's seven and this is six, five and four. This is a baking channel. Oh, I forgot to, oh, that's fine. I forgot to flatten out that buttercream a little bit. 16 minutes. Um, screw it. We're gonna, that's fine. There we go. What? I forgot, I keep forgetting to flatten out the buttercream. Now we just have to shave away our, our mermaid shape. Now with the other one, I was like adamant that there should be some sort of curve and flow to the cake so that it wasn't like completely straight. With this, I just, I gotta get it done in two minutes because then I only have 10 minutes to decorate with icing. I have to crumb coat this super fast. Top layer of cake is like crumbling because I'm, I'm, I'm shaving too fast. Okay, cake everywhere, all on the floor. That's perfectly fine. This area, we're gonna shave a little bit of you down. I don't know about you, side. Okay, so now we're going to clean this up. Oh, I need my icing. I like blasted it in the microwave. Are you supposed to do that? Oh, that's fine. I just, I wanted to make sure. Oh, I feel like this is gonna get messy. But this cake is so soft and the crumb coat layer always destroys what it is I carved. It's going on pretty smoothly actually. Making sure that all of the crumbs get stuck on this layer of cake. Good job icing, you're working with me and not against me. Really wanna make sure that this top layer of cake doesn't crumble on me. Come on, just stick. God, I did it. That's why you're supposed to do the top with fondant, remember? I made the tutorial on that cake and I didn't even follow the directions. Oh, this is turning out so well. Okay, good, good. Put this there. We're gonna throw this away. I think I just have enough time. We don't need you either. Okay, come on. One. We're gonna grab our tail and we're gonna put our tail in like that. Sink in as low as you can or you want to, but please do not break. Oh my gosh, please, please. I don't have that much time. So I can't add texture the way that I wanted to with the other cake. So instead I'm just using an icing tip. How many minutes? Seven minutes, okay. Work your way around the entire cake. So purple, we need pink here. Holy moly, okay. Come on, almost, I'm almost done. God, but the thing that sucks is that there's more to ice when you get down to the bottom. Wow, I'm so proud of this. My icing skills definitely need work because this is like all over the place, but it's looking pretty good for 30 minutes. If you don't like fondant at all, this is like the best way to do scales. I'm just taking my time. Look at that. My scales are looking better because I'm not all rushed. <sighs> Just taking my precious time. Making this look as good as I can. It's not falling apart? What? How, why do I deserve this? Purple. Now I just gotta finish some stuff on the back. Oh, they look so nice. Wow! I did it! Can you see it? Do you see it? 30 minutes and this bomb mermaid cake. What? I love it. I love the color combination. I love the way that the kale came out. And the back of this, look. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look like the greatest tail I've ever seen, 
but it looks pretty fantastic. So I used an Ateco 132 tip for all of the scaled icing. Man, that was such a brilliant idea. It has the same sort of effect of all of the fondant scales that I created, but it was so much easier to place on. You're, you're more likely to eat it because it's icing and not fondant. I feel like if somebody told me that they needed four days to do this cake, I would be like, yeah, you take your four days. That's totally fine. But I just did it in 30 minutes. And look, it's stable, pretty stable for 30 minutes. Like, oh my gosh, how much would you pay for this? I wouldn't pay anyone to do this. Just give me a muffin and I'm good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more of my 30 minute cakes, there's a playlist for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. And I'm curious, which one of my cakes would you like to see me recreate in 30 minutes? It would be pretty cool to see me do like one of those unicorns, right? I could do it. I think I could do it. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace.